Furthermore, is the white smoke coming from Flight 77? The smoke looks like the exhaust trail of a missile, not the nearly invisible exhaust of a passenger jet. However, in case you are unfamiliar with the exhaust of missiles and passenger airplanes, I will quickly review this issue. The engines of commercial jets are referred to as turbofans. A turbofan is similar to the electric fans that cool computers. These type of fans have a shroud to control the flow of air. The two main components of an electric fan are the fan blades and the electric motor. Electric fans do not produce white exhaust trails. Even if they are on fire, the smoke is likely to be dark, not white. A turbofan is similar to an electric fan, except that the fan is driven by a gas turbine engine instead of an electric motor. A small amount of air from the fan is used by the turbine, but most of it flows around the turbine. Fuel is sprayed in a combustion chamber, and the hot, high-pressure gas rotates the turbine as it shoots out the rear. This is the rear of a turbofan. The cool air flows around the engine. The turbine exhaust flows from the smaller, tapered section. Most of the exhaust is pure, cool air. Only a small amount of air passes through the combustion chamber, so only the center of the exhaust could have a different visual appearance from the outside air. The most likely color of the exhaust is a light brown, due to soot and pollutants. Even if you look directly into the rear of the engines, you cannot see any white exhaust. During takeoff, the engines are burning a lot of fuel, but even then, the exhaust of a properly maintained turbofan is difficult to see. Rocket exhaust is so hot, it glows white as it leaves the engine. It cools into white clouds, sometimes with a brownish tint. What are these white clouds made of? And why do rockets produce these white clouds, but not airplanes? The exhaust is white because one-third of it is steam. This extreme concentration of steam rapidly condenses into tiny droplets of hot water, which appear to our eyes as white clouds. You can see this effect with a tea kettle. The white plume that comes from a tea kettle is steam. Forest fires also produce extremely visible smoke. This is partly due to steam, but these fires also create a lot of ash and partially burned hydrocarbons. The ash consists of small particles of non-flammable materials, such as calcium compounds. The particles of ash are heavier than air, but they get sucked up in the draft created by the flames. Volcanoes also produce extremely visible smoke, mainly because of steam and ash. However, in this case, the ash is powdered rock. Why do missiles produce so much steam? Because they carry their own oxygen rather than use the air. The air is mostly nitrogen, and the nitrogen dilutes the steam. By not having atmospheric nitrogen in the exhaust, the exhaust has a much higher concentration of steam. If a missile uses liquid oxygen, about half of the exhaust will be steam. Most missiles, however, use a solid fuel because it is more convenient than liquid fuel. To make a solid fuel, the oxygen is combined with nitrogen, which is then attached to the hydrocarbons. The exhaust then contains a small amount of nitrogen. A turbofan produces steam, just like missiles, so why doesn't the exhaust from a turbofan appear white? Because the nitrogen from the air dilutes the steam so much that droplets don't form. Actually, under certain conditions, the exhaust of a turbofan is white. At high elevations, the air is below freezing, and it's often saturated with water vapor. Any additional water vapor will form ice crystals. This causes the engines to leave trails of ice crystals. Since these trails form only under special conditions, a plane flying at a slightly different elevation or location may not leave a trail. If a turbofan does leave a trail, there is always a gap between the engine and the trail because the water vapor must cool down. The concentration of vapor is too low for droplets to form while the vapor is hot. 
By comparison, the concentration of steam from a tea kettle is so high that droplets form while the steam is hot. If a turbofan created this white trail, there would be a gap between the engine and the trail, which would put the plane to the left of that rectangular post. This would make the plane even more visible. However, turbofans don't leave trails on warm days, such as that morning of September 11th. Only missiles have enough steam in their exhaust to leave a trail of water droplets at ground level and in hot weather. So, how could this trail be from Flight 77? To summarize an important difference between turbofans and missiles, the exhaust of a missile is one-third steam, while the exhaust of a turbofan is mostly air. The white trail in the Pentagon security video is certainly the exhaust of a missile, not a passenger airplane. Only conspiracy nuts and people who do not know much about turbofans would insist that Flight 77 created that white trail.